Hi there. It's June the 10th and we're continuing our journey through the Acts of the Apostles written by Luke, the sequel to Luke's Gospel. And we are in Acts chapter 7 and we're reading from verses 30 through to verse 50. This is Stephen continuing his defence before the Sanhedrin, before the Council of the Jewish Leaders, which we looked at previously, the first part. And we saw that Stephen is drawing attention to two things. First of all, that God is able to reveal himself without the use of the temple. He reveals himself to Abraham, he reveals himself to Moses, and here again he reveals himself to Moses in the burning bush, and he speaks to him as the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and he's not in the temple, he's not in Israel. But Stephen is also highlighting the disobedience of the people of Israel to Moses as God's prophet. They rebel against him. They refuse to receive what he's saying. And Moses points out their sin, that they fell into sin, that they made an idol, that even though Moses had presented them with the promises of God, they stood against Moses. And this is despite the fact, Stephen says, that there was the tabernacle in the wilderness, that God's own dwelling place which God had given to Moses and shared the pattern himself the people refused to listen to and again went into idolatry. So the, the tabernacle existed, says Stephen, right up to the time of David and David wanted to build a house for God. It was actually Solomon his son who built it but listen to what Stephen is saying. Stephen is saying God has been with us as a people right the way through without the, the temple being there. But then he says something which must have incensed his listeners at this point, because he says, God said, can anyone contain me in a building? I don't live in houses made with hands. Uh, and what sort of house will you build for me? He also, uh, he also reveals the fact that God is, is come through Jesus, that this is this Jesus who has been the one who is this prophet that Moses has promised. Moses said, a greater prophet than I will arise. And he's, he's, Stephen is pointing to Jesus as being Messiah. Stephen is obviously facing huge resistance here from the Sanhedrin. And of course, the story doesn't turn out well for him. But he is pointing up this fact that God doesn't need a box. He doesn't need a building. His dwelling place is with people in relationship. It's not about a shrine. And this is what will incense the leaders so much because they put so much store by this building and by the control and the power that they have over people through it. It also points to the fact, as the early church uh, were to demonstrate, that Jesus himself is the new temple and his body, his people, the people of God, not the building of God, is the real focus of God's attention and of God's dwelling. We can rejoice today that God has made us living stones, part of his living church, which is not dependent on buildings, not dependent on structures, but actually is dependent just on relationship with God through the Holy Spirit. Have a very good June the 10th.